Quebec, Canada, fighting Troy the Destroyer Dorsey. 12 rounds for the World Super Lightweight Championship. What are you gonna do now as far as kickboxing? First, I wanna thank God, say hello to my wife, Shelly and Kendra. Happy birthday, Shane. And thank all of my instructors and students at my school now. Pick up kickboxing and boxing both again and go out there world time. Okay, thank you. Welcome back, Destroyers, to If the Gloves Could Talk. I'm your host, Bryce George, and here with me, as always, I have Mr. Troy Dorsey. Troy, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. I'm a little down today. Yeah? Yes. So, tell us what's going on. Why are you down? Well, uh, Mr. Tyre Garrett and I and his wife went to uh, uh, Leeds, England. It's five hours south of London, and he fought in a tournament. Last year, he fought in a tournament. He did well. He won... He only says he's won uh, like eight or nine world titles, but he won 14. Because some of the titles that he won, he felt like I guess maybe they were lame or something. But <laughs> anyway, so we went back over there to fight in a, in a tournament, and uh, he got stopped in the first round. Got caught with a kick, and it was just, that's the game, that's the way the game is. It's a, it's a, it's a tough game, and it's uh, hard to be on the other end of those kicks, on the other end of those punches when, when you uh, get stopped. But as part of the part of the game, and I know he knows that. I know he knew that. I I hate that that happened, but it happens. What was running through your head when you know he got knocked out? Did he immediately get back up, or was he down for a minute? He was down for a minute. Uh -huh. He was down for a minute. Yeah, yeah. He it took a while to get the. When I say a while, in a couple of minutes, the 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 medics came in to make sure that he was okay. Uh, make sure he, it was n not a major injury at that time or that he could at least uh, communicate and, and move his body. So uh, he was down for, for a minute or so and then, then they, I guess they ran in 15 seconds mm -hmm. into the count. And uh, yeah, it was, it was, uh, it, was it was difficult to watch and, but that's, like I said, it's just part of part of fighting, and sometimes that happens, and it uh, really is difficult when it when it happens. How but did Ty it, handle it? Oh, uh, he he was okay. Mm -hmm. He was okay. He ain't no no excuses, and he you know he just got caught right on that. I think it was the the TM, the TMJ joint. Mm -hmm. He got he got kicked with a round kick. So the guy punched and leaned back, threw a front leg round kick. And it was a really hard kick and strong kick, and uh, it's going to take a lot to put Mr. Garrett down. I don't know that he's been down, but uh, yeah. So it was it was uh, it was made it made it sad, but like I said, it's part of part of uh, part of it. Part of fighting, yeah. Getting knocked down, getting cut, losing. Uh, it's difficult, but that's just like life. Have you ever lost anything you've done, or maybe someone watching oh, you yeah. lost? Would it really upset you and really uh, made you depressed, or so you just can't hold on to that for very long? What you do is just say, "Okay, life happens." What do they say? Life gets in the way. Life hits you with a cold, hard right, right up the yeah. chin, or a cold, hard kick, mm -hmm. and that's life. There's so many comparisons in uh, between uh, kickboxing. Uh, working as you are working here with uh, Mr. Larkin and uh, not, there's a lot of life lessons in, in uh, something like when that something like that happens mm -hmm. so yeah they happen are you are you okay with it uh, you're not okay with it really but what do you gotta do you gotta get up you gotta dust yourself off and you gotta press forward keep moving forward keep your eyes on Jesus and uh, he'll get you through it Right. Look at the story and, and the story about Job in the Bible. It's the most, one of the most, it is probably the most 
I don't know, maybe you call it depressing it's, or, or sad stories. His wife got killed, his kids got killed, he lost everything, and he was sick and he had sores all over him, boils on his legs and arms, and oh, it was terrible. I said it really quickly, but it didn't happen quickly. It was mm -hmm. uh, losing his wife, losing his kids. Actually, he didn't lose his wife. His wife said, why don't you just, why don't you just curse God? And he said, no, I'm not gonna curse God. So yeah, challenges, challenges. I know nobody out there has ever been challenged in life. If you're if you're five years or older, five years older, yeah, you've been challenged. So, <laughs> and as adults, we uh, we get challenged all the time. And uh, how you react from that happening is what makes you either stronger or weaker. So we gotta be, we gotta always come back strong and do all we can. So there are people out there with cancer and oh, it's just so sad things going on like that. But yep, that's the, the idea is whether it's uh, whether it's cancer, whether it's another kind of sickness, whether it's finances, mm -hmm. what do you gotta do? Get down and uh, like you say, get down and dirty and push forward and keep doing that's what right. you're supposed to do. That's right. Keep living life, not don't give up. Come on. My name is Troy Dorsey. We offer martial arts and karate training and fitness kickboxing training. Our karate program is for men, women, and children of all ages. From four and a half, we even have a student that's 91 years old. Also, we teach fitness kickboxing. It's a one hour non-contact class of punching and kicking a bag because hitting a bag is like weightlifting to help strengthen and tone your muscles. Give us a call at 817-477-5523. Come in and see us today and start your martial arts experience with us now. We're back in the commercial break and we're going to pick up right where we left off last week with our Get to Know Bryce and Troy segment. Now, of course, you all know a lot more about Troy than me, but I figured it would be nice to learn a little bit more about your co-hosts that you have here. <laughs> So, Troy, why don't you start us off and pull okay. out our first note part. All right. Yeah, this would be difficult without Bryce, but she does a great job helping me with the, this podcast. So, so, what is your favorite movie? You going to answer that first? I'm going to let you go first. La <laughs> la ladies first. Mm, my favorite movie. Um, I would have to say because it just still really resonates with me. It's called The Covenant, and it's based on a true story. And, um, you know, after 9-11, oh, yeah. when we went over to the Middle East, um, we had aided or got the help from a lot of fluent speakers who were from over there. And in return, we would give them, uh, you know, citizenship to the U.S. with their family. So this true story is basically about um, a sergeant who's played by Jake Gyllenhaal. He gets badly hurt. The interpreter keeps Jake Gyllenhaal, the sergeant, alive for three weeks out in the desert area and um, brings him alive to safety. Long story short, uh, the interpreter's citizenship was not given to him immediately after, so he was basically one of the top 10 most wanted men over, I believe it was Afghanistan he was in, and uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, his character, the sergeant, had to go back over there into Afghanistan and save him. So it's based on a true story. It was just really, really inspiring and incredible, and um, I'd have to say that was probably my favorite movie so far. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well... Mine, mine's not a true story. But I think the, the 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 movie that I enjoy most, well, the Raiders of the Lost Ark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was re that was really a, a uh, good movie. Harrison Ford. Yeah, yeah, yeah and, and they have several several spinoffs of that, I guess. But yeah, Raiders of the Lost Ark was really exciting, and uh, it wasn't a dirty movie with you know talking and cursing and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it was really that was my that's my favorite movie I guess then I, that's a hard question yeah I could say Rocky yeah you know, the boxing <laughs> or I figure you'd say one of the Chuck Norris movies yeah Chuck Norris Walker Texas Ranger that was a that was a, yeah. that was a, mm -hmm. a uh, 
series on television for many, many years. Yeah, it's kind of hard, but yeah, I like I like uh, John Wayne the Cowboy. Uh huh. Also, I that, can that tell. That was a movie, The Cowboy. I can tell you do. You yeah. like Harrison Ford, so he's yeah. played a lot of cowboys. So. Yeah. <laughs> but um, next question. So where did you grow up? So for me, um, I've been born and raised in Grand Prairie, which is about um, 20 minutes, 25 minutes from here. But um, it does touch the Mansfield um, city line. So born and raised there. How about you, Trey? Give you one guess. <laughs> I was born here in Mansfield, Texas, at Cedars Hospital, right across from the government buildings. Mm -hmm. That's where the hospital used to be. It was a it was a it was a government building where people go there and pay the water and uh, other things like that. But now they they tore that building down, so that was the hospital I was born in. They just tore it down maybe ten years ago. And uh, yeah, my my two brothers were born here. My dad came here when he was five years old. He's okay. 82, he's 82 years old now. And he still lives here in Mansfield. And where is he from originally? Beeville. In Texas? Beeville, South That's Texas. That's a city? Yeah, Beeville is in South, it's in South <laughs> Texas. So, so yeah, I say uh, I'm, I'm 61 years old now, but I've been here for 77 years. Wow. How, how did that happen? Well, my dad came here when he was five, so I'm, I'm claiming some of those right. years <laughs> from way back then. Yeah. Okay, next question, Troy. Okay. What time do you wake up and go to bed? Well, usually my wake up time is somewhere around 9, 9.30, sometimes 10, just it depends on how many miles I had on, my, on, my, on myself the day before. Yeah. Like Europe yesterday. But, uh, yeah, usually I go to bed. I mean, I, I get up at around 9 or 10, and then I go to bed usually around 10 or 11. Sometimes midnight. Yeah, but trying just to get depends. My wife and I are trying to get on a better schedule of, of sleeping, going to, sleep, going to sleep early, earlier than later. It's easy to step up watching TV and mm -hmm. what time? 2 o'clock in the morning. So, so I... Um, I ideally like to go to bed at 10, sometimes it's 11, but I usually wake up at 6, 6.30, um, because oh. I'm one of those people who has to come into work every morning, so, yeah. you know, has to do the drive over here, but I love what I do, so it's well worth it. Okay, Jess, we've got two more after this one. If you didn't choose a career you did, what would you have done instead? Um, I probably would have worked with animals or um, I was always really interested in therapy. Um, so either, you know, a therapy counselor or maybe a vet, that require a lot of school. So I don't know if I would have committed to that many years in a row, but what would you have done, Troy? Yes, this is this is just a dream, right? It's, it's just yeah. maybe because what I do, I get is my dream mm -hmm. to teach martial arts, uh, karate, kickboxing. But uh, if it's to do something else, it's really hard. It's really difficult for me to to, to to make a choice. But maybe it might be a teacher. Yeah, which is kind teaching, of similar to what you do now. Yeah, teaching children. Right. Working with children, and uh, yeah, like you you mentioned, maybe a doctor. Boy, I like to work with children, so yeah, whatever it is, let's work with those kids and help them, yeah. Okay, second to last question. Here we go. What hand do you write with? <laughs> well, my, I write with my right hand, but most people don't call it right, right, and they call it gibber, gibber, <laughs> My handwriting is horrible. Oh, yeah. I, I write with my left hand, so usually people give me a hard time for that. So. Yeah. yeah, I had a cast on my hand three times oh, in wow. 1982 on my right hand. So I wrote, wrote with my left hand. I bet it really looked bad then. <laughs> yeah, actually, I think it looked better than really? my, my other writing because <laughs> take your time, it goes kind of slow. That's close, true. So, yeah, that's what that I did. That is true. Okay, very last question. 
<laughs> what is your horoscope sign? So I'm an Aries. I'm born April 17th. Do you know what your horoscope sign is? Scorpio. So you're a water sign. What? You're, so um, depending on what time of the year you're born, you'll get like you're either a fire sign, water sign, earth sign, and wind sign, I think. So water sign and it kind of symbolizes which makes sense you're a very calm soothing person um me yes mm. and aries we're fire signs so i just look at it as in our passion we're very passionate people and uh you know that can also make us stubborn sometimes so because the aries uh constellation creates a ram you mm. know the stars the scorpio that's constellation the stars creates a Scorpio hmm. but it makes sense as a ram because you know stubbornness passion <laughs> all that stuff but um that is it for our questions today Troy what do you think I think uh I think it's good I hope uh someone watching this I hope they they enjoy it and they tell us some others about what's going on I mean this wasn't the most exciting but I'm not sure <laughs> what it is but anyway this is just uh getting to know like said, getting to know Bryce Right. And getting it on me a little bit more. So thank you for doing this, Bryce. Of course. It's important that you guys know who we are or know more about us. But this is If the Gloves Could Talk, episode 11. Next week, episode 12, we'll have an interview guest on the show, lots of more content, a blast from the past segment, and more to come. So thank you guys so much for watching. Troy, anything else you want to leave our guests with? Uh, thank you all for joining us. God bless you. May the Lord Jesus Christ. Keep his hand on you and protect you. See you next time.